Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. In this video, I want to show you a new product from Ellie Wilson. It's their bushing type full length sizing die. Now this is a very nicely machined piece of gear. It's made out of stainless steel and it's a bushing type die, meaning you have precise control over how much neck tension you're going to have in your loaded rounds. You're also going to get enhanced concentricity because of the ability for that bushing to float slightly. So for precision rifle, this is a great way to do your sizing. What we're going to cover is an overview of this new product. We're going to look at the math required and the measurements required to figure out what size bushing you're going to need to buy that's purchased separately. And then we're going to set it up on the press. So let's get going. So this is a uh, familiar looking box for those of you that have purchased uh, Wilson gear. Let's see what we've got inside here. So as we would expect, we've got the main die body. We've also got uh, a few things. We've got the Allen key, which you can use to adjust the set screw, which will lock the lock ring down to the die. We've also got an extra Allen, Allen screw and plug, which is what provides the tension against the threads to lock the, the lock ring down. Uh, in addition, we've also got a spare decapping rod, which is definitely uh, real nice. You're also going to need a bushing. We'll get to that in just a moment in terms of determining the size of, of the bushing that you're, you're going to need. So take a look at this die. I mean, it's, it's just a really finely crafted piece of gear. Everything works really smoothly. Uh, so the, the decapping rod here, uh, one thing to note is that there's this knurled lock screw here. And if you either screw the decapping rod in or out, that's actually going to directly influence how much of the decapping rod is sticking out of the, out of the die. So again, we'll, we'll get to that in just a moment because the bushing is kind of an integral part of, of this uh, piece of gear and setting it up. So, real nice piece of gear. Real, I really like how the, uh, the lettering is etched on there. Just really cool. So, first thing to do, let's figure out what size bushing we're going to need. So, the first step in determining the required bushing size is going to be to measure the case neck thickness of our brass. Now, a spherical micrometer is going to work a little bit better here, but there's no reason we can't that we can't use a set of uh, calipers here. So I've got 15 and a half here. I'm going to spin it 180, 15 and a half, 14 and a half. So we're going to call that 15 thousandths of an inch. Next, we need to know our bullet diameter. Now these are six millimeter bullets, so we should be right on 243. And sure enough, we definitely are. All right, let's do the math here. So we've got our, our bullet, and the bullet is at 243. We've got our neck. The neck is at 0 0.015 inches on each side. And so if we take 243, plus both of the case walls, we have 273. Now, what we want is about two thousandths of an inch of interference fit. In other words, we want the inside of the case neck to be two thousandths of an inch smaller than 243 but we need to go an additional thousandth in in order to account for the spring back because you know after the bushing goes over it it's going to spring back ever so slightly and look we're going to count one thousandth for that so if we subtract three thousandths of an inch we'll get at our bushing size 270 thousandths of an inch Okay, we survived the math. That wasn't too bad. So now we need to put our bushing in. So I'm going to take the whole decapping assembly out. 
We've got our bushing, 270. Take that out of the bag. Now notice there's two sides here. If you read the write-up in the accompanying blog post, I've got a little bit of detail. You can actually flip these around for, for different effects on the neck sizing process. But we've got 270 stamped on here. We're gonna want that facing up for the default configuration. And then we're just gonna take this uh, decapping adjustment plug and we're gonna screw it down so that it's uh, finger tight. Give you a better view there. And what we wanna check for is that we have just a little bit more than an eighth of an inch of decapping rod protruding, which I do. Uh, if you don't, you can just take that black lock nut that's on the decapping plug, loosen it, and then screw the decapping rod in or out to get more or less protruding. So now we're ready to put it on the press and set up our sizing depth. Okay, so here we are on the lock and load iron. We're gonna drop in a bushing and start the die down. We're gonna raise the ram all the way. And to start, we're just gonna seat this down against the shell holder. Make sure where we're at. Yep, okay. We're gonna hand tighten our lock ring and we're, we're gonna see where we're at. Since this is the uh, first case through the press, I've applied a generous quantity of lube. Let's check and see where we're at now. So what we need to do next is take our, our case gauge. We're gonna take a, a once fired case and the case that we just sized and compare the two. So we start with the, the once fired case and what we're doing here is we're getting a, a reference, essentially a, a datum. So I want to hold this nice and tight. I'm going to see where that lands. It's right at four under the 0.1 inch reference mark. Now let's compare that with our sized case. And again, we bottomed this out against the shell holder. So typically we're going to get an excessive shoulder bump reading there. So we're at negative 10, negative 11. So essentially we need to back this off seven thousandths of an inch of shoulder bump. So let's back the die out a little bit. This is why we start with just a hand tightening of the lock ring. So I'm gonna back that out oh, about yay far. We'll see where that puts us. We're gonna take another one of our cases apply some lube both to the both to the outside and then I also like to roll and do a little bit of an inside the neck uh, with a q-tip. Okay so let's see where this takes us. So recall that we were at negative four and what we want is two thousandths of an inch of shoulder bump so we should be this time at about negative six and it looks like it looks like we're, we're, we're dead on so now that we've backed the sizing die off just a little bit we have our two thousandths of an inch shoulder bump which is just what we want for this kind of a bolt gun so if you're into precision rifle and you're looking for a new full length sizing die I would strongly encourage you to take a look at this new Ellie Wilson bushing type full length sizing die if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any of the action on Ultimate Reloader, please subscribe to the channel. Until then, happy reloading.